Hello YouTube, my name is Travis and this is Bacon and Backpacking. Uh, today I just wanted to do a real short episode kind of going over uh, my cook system that I use out in the backcountry. So the first thing I want to start off with is this little MSR canister stand. Um, this thing's pretty cool because you have the, the small canisters like this one and then Sarah has a bigger one. I, I'm not going to get it out but it's almost twice the size of this. So basically all you do as you pull back on this little black part right here and it will securely hold your canister whether it's the big one or the small one okay so this is this is always good because i don't know if you guys have ever experienced this but you're out in the back country and you're trying to cook and your cook set's trying to fall over and everything like that all right so next this is probably <laughs> everybody's always looking for a deal on gear and usually when you buy something cheap it ends up biting you in the butt later uh, you know because it fails out in the field and it's a piece of crap or whatever um, this is the one exception to the rule this is an AOTU stove um, Sarah and I both got one of these two years ago I've used this thing like a hundred times it still works the first time every single time this thing's super light the whole package all together, I believe, weighs about um, five ounces. So it uh, comes with this little carrying case. I don't know why everything with a cooking set apparently needs to be orange. Uh, apparently, they don't want you to lose it. So we got the little stove right here. Just hook it up to the canister. And then you've got these uh, little pot holders right here. Flip these out, and then there you go, all right? And then all you need to do, there's your gas valve. You can hear that it's on, and it's got the uh, push button igniter. First time, every time, even after two years, don't even need a lighter with it. I think that thing was, uh, oh, Sarah, what was it, $12 on Amazon or something like that, I think. So, yeah, $12 on Amazon, used it 100 times, still works every single time, so that thing's great. Hey Sarah, if people are liking the videos and they like the channel, what do you think they should do? Subscribe. Um, <laughs> this is my Fitness City Titanium Spork. It weighs 0.9 ounces, so not even one ounce. Um, the reason I like this thing, you know, it's a little bit unwieldy, but when you're eating like the big freeze-dried meal, you know, packets, I, I don't like sticking my fingers down in the sauce and stuff like that. So this thing's pretty cool. Titanium, weighs absolutely nothing. I'll set that over here. Now, my pot and cup system is made by Tokes. And these are titanium cookware. So let's start with the big cooking pot first. Zoom in so you can see the label. This is the 1.1 uh, liter pot right here okay this thing's titanium it only weighs five and a half ounces now there are pros and cons to titanium uh, the pros being that they weigh absolutely nothing and that's the main reason why I got mine um, the cons being as you can probably see you know you you will burn them you know pretty much the first time that you use them even on pretty low heat they'll get some burn spots on them uh, they're quick to heat up and they're also super quick to cool down uh, when I was backpacking you know when it's down in the 20s and stuff like that it doesn't take very long for this thing to, to cool down. So I suppose that could be a pro or a con, depending on your preference. Um, you know, if you if you want to heat something up and you need to boil it and you want to be able to eat it real quick, good. If you have a meal that's going to take you a while to eat and uh, you want it to stay warm, probably not great. Now, the good news is there's a very simple solution to that. You can either buy or make a, uh, you know, a pot koozie to wrap around and insulate this and keep it warm. I don't bother because generally out in the field, I want to just make something quick. I just want to eat it. Like it's not necessarily an experience to just sit down and, you know, uh, you know, enjoy, right? Like I'm just trying to eat and, and get done. So that is the 1.1 liter pot. Now with that 1.1 liter pot is this tiny little skillet. Um, <laughs> uh, pretty useless as a skillet. Uh, but what I usually use it for is just as, um, you know, like a lid to help boil water faster or help hold heat in a little bit longer if I need to. And if, I don't know, if you get some sort of little side dish or something, you know, it would come in handy. But I always just bring this with me. 
I don't really use it other than, you know, just as something to, you know, like I said, help boil water faster. Uh, but considering that it weighs about an ounce, why not, you know, bring it? Okay, so there's that. Now, this is also by Tokes. Shot of the label. Okay, this is the 450 milliliter um, cup, okay? Uh, I use this for like a coffee cup. And, uh, you know, if all you were doing was adding you know, uh, hot water to freeze dried meals, that could be your cooking system. Uh, plus the canister, obviously. Um, but sometimes like you'll see here, I'm actually going to make the food and eat it, you know, in the pot. So that's why I have both. Now these things are graduated. If you want to take a look right here, they got the little fold out handles, but they are graduated, um, in milliliters and in ounces. I just realized that's backwards. It's on the inside of the cup. I don't know if you can see that. You see that? Yeah, so on the inside of the cup, it is graduated if you, you know, need to be a little bit more precise. And it's the same thing uh, on this as well, too. So for the most part, guys, I mean, that's my cooking system. Um, you know, it's super lightweight. What do we have? Six ounces, one ounce, five and a half ounces, three ounces. So, you know, definitely well under a pound uh, for the entire cooking system. The uh, Tokes containers come with these pretty cool mesh bags. Um, the little 450 milliliter cup comes with one as well, but why bring both, right? So, uh, and this does have like a little, you know, if you have a reasonable size <laughs> spork, unlike mine, it does have this little uh, pocket on the side that you could put, uh, you know, your spork, or maybe you want to put your lighter in there. Like if you have a stove that you have to actually use a lighter for, it doesn't have the push button, you could stick a lighter in here. Uh, maybe you have a little travel bottle of hot sauce you could stick in there. Um, it does have this draw pool right here so you can cinch everything down. And uh, it fits perfect right on the side of my Z-Packs pack um for any of you guys that have the z packs it says that that little side pouch will hold a one liter cooking pot this is 1.1 liters and it fits it perfect so for the most part guys that's my cook set itself uh and then we'll go ahead and give you guys a couple of food ideas here that you can take with you on trail all right guys i love these things the little uh nor pasta sides i think these are like 90 cents at walmart we got some fettuccine noodles butter and herb how do you open this thing there we go geez pack stronger than i am yeah go ahead and put that in there and then uh you know i've got these fancy cups and everything that you know are all graduated and can get some precise you know chemistry going on here but instead i'm going to do the old eyeball trick yeah, that looks great. All right, mmm. <laughs> Say mmm. All right, so we're gonna have to keep this on low heat. All right. And you know, half of this process, <laughs> honestly guys, with cooking uh, stuff like this that needs rehydrated, half the process is it just soaking in water you know i don't know uh the hot water accelerates the process obviously but if it's still a little bit crunchy you know i don't care right i just want it to be semi-hot semi-chewable okay and then i've also got uh, oh i should practice what i preach i should put my uh there we go help it boil a little bit faster now i messed up i thought i had plain tuna but i have sweet and spicy tuna and i'm going to mix that with garlic and herb noodles but uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's got the protein in it. It's got the carbohydrates. And like I said, we're not out here winning any, uh, you know, Michelin star awards or anything like that. So, uh, but yeah, that's the system in practice. Now, a couple things you could do to make this better. Okay. You can have a windscreen to protect, you know, this flame and make it a little bit more fuel efficient. You can hear it cut in and out when the wind blows so you could have a windscreen like I said you could have a pot koozie as well too but I've been in pretty windy conditions I've done a lot of different trips and it's never failed to cook my food so um, it's just not something that I feel like I've ever needed but um, yeah so there's meal idea number one we'll see what Sarah's got cooking today I have a peak meal it's um, one of my favorite brands so far that I've been trying for backpacking meals yeah, me too. Uh, chicken and rice basically Thank you. 
So some of the decisions in life that I make are questionable. And this is definitely one of those. So the tuna tasted pretty good, but mixed together, I don't know how I feel about it. that tuna and butter garlic. I don't know, it's not horrible. It kind of looks like throw up, but it's not bad. And then, uh, you know, since I burnt the noodles to the pot, uh, it gives it a really unique flavor. I'm gonna call it grilled, spicy, herby, buttery tuna <laughs> noodles. What about fire roasted tuna noodles? <laughs> yeah, it sounds a little bit better. <laughs> Well, not really proud of it, but got a mountain house for dinner tonight. But I'll tell you what, this little Yeti Bigfoot looking dude, uh, you know, brings mountain house up a plus one. Chicken teriyaki. Uh, you know, I hate on mountain house a lot. They're not horrible, but they're probably the worst brand of freeze dried meals, I think, as far as taste and then also to... Uh, you know, food you get. Only 480 calories, only 23 grams of protein. So, just not really, you know, a full meal for me. All right, guys, thanks for watching my uh, short video on my backpacking cook system. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, follow the channel for more recipe ideas. Uh, you know, we eat pretty gourmet out here. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.